We had taken a group of our managers to the Chicago restaurant show in uh, May of 1995. And while we were there, we got a call from the assistant manager we had left in charge here that there had been a fire. So my wife and I secured flights to get back and we came back to see that the restaurant had in fact burned and was not salvageable in its uh, present condition. You know, when you get a call in the middle of the night that your restaurant is burning, uh, you get a huge knot in your stomach. So it was, it was devastating, certainly, but there was never any doubt in our minds that we were gonna rebuild. I'm Tom Willis. I'm the owner of 66 Diner. I grew up in Austin, Texas and attended the University of Texas. While I was attending, I worked for Steak and Ale Restaurant. One day I was approached by a headhunter who was looking for potential managing partners. That led me to joining Pelicans Corporation and ultimately opening the restaurant here in Albuquerque. The director of operations from Pelicans had offered to back me in a restaurant of my own. So we proceeded to open Cafe Oceana. At that point, Cafe Oceana was the first fresh seafood restaurant in Albuquerque. We kept looking across the street at this streamlined, modern building that was Atlas Transmissions and thinking someone's gonna make that into a diner. It might as well be us. So we purchased the building and opened in 1987. The 66 Diner has been a labor of love for me. It's a combination of my job and my hobby. I'm a collector. I like old stuff, oil and gas signs, and the Pez collection that we've become somewhat famous for at this point. We also have a lot of photographs of different spots on Route 66 in New Mexico and beyond. We have a lot of tourists from around the world that come here and travel the Route 66. And then we also have a lot of locals that come back time after time to come eat and they're regulars. We want people to feel like they are going back to that 50s and 60s period of time when they come inside the diner. They see all of this amazing memorabilia and you kind of forget about the craziness of the outside world and you're brought back to a more simple time where you're just here to eat and have fun with friends and they love it. The food we serve is authentic comfort food from that era, like burgers, blue plate specials, chicken fried steak, and even liver and onions. Another one of our items that we offer that's reminiscent of that period is milkshakes and malts. And we make them the way that they used to be made back in the 50s. Real ice cream, whole milk, and we spin them in a stainless cup on a spin blender. Our employees are in period dress. Everything we've done here is reminiscent of the 50s diner, from the neon to the food to the signs, taking people back to that period of time. You're gonna get great food, a delicious milkshake, and just get to enjoy a fun atmosphere with some fun tunes and a jukebox that's from the 50s. Even at my age, I get a lot of enjoyment coming in here. It's a passion for me because it's a combination of my collection and my job. This is my fun restaurant of all the restaurants I've been involved in. And what could be more fun than to go to work doing something you love.